then I'm going to show you how to take a YouTube link and embed it into a Seesaw activity in order to get rid of all of the comments and advertisements. So here is a video that I'm going to use as my example. If you have not watched the Tonight Show Home Edition, I highly recommend it. Um, so normally we'd grab the link from the web address bar and maybe we add it to SafeShare, but I've been getting this error um, on SafeShare quite frequently. So I'm gonna show you a workaround. So again, I copied this link and what you do not wanna do is create an activity and embed that link into the Seesaw activity as it is in the web address bar. And I'm gonna show you why. So here it looks like it's safely inside Seesaw. However, once you push it out to students, it does not get rid of the comments and the advertisements and etc. So I'm gonna press test as my test activity save. And then I'm going to assign it to my class. My network is running very slowly. So I'm going to assign it. I'm going to use 1H. Okay, so I'm going to view the activity. And then here it is with the link. And you'll notice it opens in YouTube. And I'm on my Chromebook, but it does this in the app as well. So that's not ideal for early childhood or lower school students. So I'm going to go back to my activity and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to walk you through what you should do if you're going to add a link to YouTube. So instead of grabbing the YouTube web address right here, you're going to scroll down to share. And then you're going to click embed. And here's your video that you're going to embed. And I'm going to grab the link from where it says HTTPS right here, all the way to the end of the quotations. So again, you're going to grab all of this link. You're just going to copy from the quotation mark before the H all the way to the end before it says frame border. So I'm going to copy that and then watch whenever I open a new tab and I paste that link into just a new tab. See how all you see is the video and that's what we want for our students. So I'm going to pop back over to my Seesaw activity. I'm going to go down to add multimedia instructions or example and then link. I'm going to paste that web address there. I'm going to press check. And obviously this is just an example. You would want to give your students, you know, instructions of what they're going to do with that video, but I'm going to press save. There it is. And when I tap the link, there it is still just in the window and there are no comments or featured videos, etc. I hope this video helped you and will allow you to provide your students with videos for um, great home learning experiences. And um, let me know if you need any help.